Finnish school systems as well is putting, um, giving them responsibility uh, for their studies, giving them also them autonomy. I think uh, in their studies and more and more uh, as they as they grow older. So after uh, you study say, uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth grades, uh, then you have the choice. You're about how old are you? Sixteen, I think, and. It's either Lukio, which is traditional high school for three years, and or then vocational school. And I think vocational school in let's say last ten years, it has become even more popular than it was before. So after uh, they are both last three years, and if you go to a vocational school, you have a profession after those three years. But the beauty, I think, in the Finnish education system is that no road is blocked. I mean, there are no dead ends. You can come from a vocational school and still apply to the university with that diploma. You don't have to have the diploma, high school diploma to apply to a polytechnic or, or a university. So there are no dead ends, which is, I think, the core question in the fact that the student choice is a positive thing, when it, even if it happens so soon after the ninth grade. During the ninth grade, it happens in, in February or in March, when they, it's the same thing in Finland, it's kind of this national system, it's called Yhteishapu, so they uh, apply to different educations, and roughly the choice is be between a high school, which is like, which main purpose is to prepare you to further education, and then vocational school, which has obviously a lot of choices like, within it, that uh, gives you a profession. So you get a diploma, you become, for example, a plumber, or then there could be a, a, or a hairdresser, for example, or, or then there's like this uh, business education where you become like a, this kind of elementary level, like sales person. You have some like this kind of core <laughs> education of uh, the business side and so on. In addition to the fact that they give you the profession, Nowadays it's more and more encouraged to continue to a polytechnic where you could get this kind of that is equivalent to a bachelor's degree, for example electrical engineering or, or then if you're a business then you get this kind of bachelor in business, business administration and, and so on. And you can also from high school, a lot of people apply to those polytechnics as well. So polytechnics especially are a form of higher education where people come from both backgrounds, vocational and, and high school. And then high schools are the main uh, route, obviously, to the universities uh, after the matriculation examination. But since we have the entrance exams to all uh, fields at the university, so you can also apply to a university based on your uh, vocational school diploma. And one thing about the, the system where people apply in the ninth grade is that you can apply from Tampere, for example, you can apply to anywhere in Finland, any high school or any vocational school in Finland. And then, obviously, you can take part in, to, in that uh, application process, even if you're like, say, you've studied two years in a vocational school. You can just put your papers in and apply to a high school and start over again. Of course, because we've got uh, upper secondary school here, of course we try to like, yeah, come here, come to this school, because the competition is tough. You know, all the, all the high schools in Tampere, they're somehow like, this, this is for arts, this is for maths, this is for technology. It's all like, some, and we're business. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we're, we're, we're like trying to get the students to come. That's kind of skills that they can survive in the world, because our school system is only like we are doing small things, but in this subject we try to teach like long projects. You have to design, you have to prepare, you have to think how you can manage and do it, then you have to do it, and after that you have to eval evaluate it, like in normal uh, world. But my point of view is that those uh, rebels, those smokers, those who don't like schools, they would love to be here half their time. Yeah. And that, that is going to be their work in normal life. They are not never going to be university students. But they could be fixing cars, they could paint houses. So I think we should go in that way. 
about choice. You can decide there's certain compulsory courses, I suppose, um, not too many. It's, it depends who you ask. Some students say that there are too many, of course. And then after that, you can more or less specialize in whatever you're interested in. And as a teacher, I have to take that into account that, you know, English might not be everybody's specialty. It's the love of my life, but it might, might not be my <laughs> students' love. At least everybody, well, because if you're interested in something, then you have the choice to go and study that. So the, then you should have, at least at, at least we think that you should have more, you should be more motivated to do that. And, and it kind of gives the students the idea that they do have options. They, they get to choose themselves. And, and something that we try and tell the students that, hey, you chose to come here, so let's try and be a bit more motivated because there are some issues with motivation here as well. But in general, I think it's a good idea to kind of teach them uh, like this early on that they have to take responsibility for their actions. They have to be the ones choosing the courses and they are the ones who organize their own schedules because later in life, who's going to do that for them? Yeah. They have to do it themselves. So that's what we're already learning at upper secondary school and even before that when they have to choose where to go and what to study. So a lot of students choose to go to vocational school and they are really valued in Finland. And if you want, after vocational school, you can still go to University of Applied Sciences or apply to university as well if you wish to. So it's like you're not closing a door behind no, you if you take that option. you're not closing a door. And that's, I think, the idea behind it, that whatever path you choose, it's not like you have to go back you can still go forward.